impression of it. Ooh, it was, <laughs> that was kind of big of a surprise. Now, you, it's not going to be something like, oh my god, this is completely different. It's going to be kind of similar, but you can definitely notice, you can definitely notice a difference. Now then, how does this work? So basically what a power commander is, let's talk about that first, is it's a module basically that tricks the ECU or something like that. The ECU is something that's connected to your autobus to the sensor. Or it really depends on how your bike is made and all that. Basically it tricks the system to put more fuel in. It's really that simple. Now then, a lot of people say, uh, I don't know, I like to install one, but, you know, they're electrical and they got to uh, tune in and everything. It's not, that, it's not that hard. All you're doing really is just connecting to your fuel injection or on my bike, it has this connector with this fuel, fuel injection, throw the piston sensor and all of that, all in one cable. Everybody's different. Another thing to, and also when you're tuning it, you're just being, you're, it's literally just opening a map or a file, transferring that file into the power commander, that's it. It's opening and transferring. Literally just it. It's not rocket science. It's really simple. like um man the bike is getting hot and it kind of gets really uncomfortable especially in arizona where it's always like a freaking hundred degrees all the time well not literally but almost all the time so you want to put a power command do you have to get a modified exhaust and air filter no in fact you can just put a power commander on your bike when it is completely stock and i do recommend putting a power commander on for a really good reason is because your bike from the factory runs lean and when a bike runs lean it's not going to be efficient basically you know you want to put a little more fuel into it so that let's say you've been noticing like bogging or anything like that it's not tremendous or anything but it's a really good thing to have a power commander so that your life of the engine will be better because you're adding more fuel it's not getting so hot that could damage your valves another thing is it gets you more power a much better smoother throttle uh sense basically Power Commander, Power Command 3 and 5, or PC3, PC5, of course. Now, I have PC3, which is a much older system. And when I first said I uh, get this to work onto my bike, it wasn't working. And then I had to bring it to my friends, and he got it working. I expected that I was using a different drive that's not meant for Power Command 3. That's what me and my friends think it was. So that's not even considered. What up? Up? Now, oh yeah, when you put a slip on exhaust, do you have to get a power commander? No, not necessarily. But like I said again, you know, you can do it in stock as well, you know, which I, which I really recommend. 